Hello, ladies. In particular. Gentlemen, too, but primarily ladies. No, never mind. Just the fellas out there, because it is Fun Day Monday, Day 9, Daily Number 260. Why did I seem such, oh, so angry and in a bad mood at the start? Because it's Valentine's Day. It's Valentine's Day. Ugh. That's right, it's everyone's favorite day of the year, where all the couples get to get together and just be like, I'm so in love with you, I love you so much! And then you know what happens, the guy, hey, bro, you brought me flowers, yeah, from the gas station on the way to your house, oh my god, are we going to dinner? Yeah, sure, we're going to dinner, it's a place that I just sort of, like, eat at all the time and it's just an easy, cheap place, the owner knows me, gives me discounts, right, like that, ugh, and I'm sitting here doing a daily. Ugh. So you know what? Let's just get it out. Let's just get it out right now, right? Let's just lay it on the line. Let's just get some let's just get some interaction with the audience. Gamer, set up the first poll. Set up the first poll, gamer. If you would be so kind. The first poll is if you are in a relationship type 1. If you're in a relation if you're single and you're not in a relationship type 0. That is how it's going to be rolling. We're going to get a little bit of a sense of what's going on, right? I want to know what romantic dynamic we're going to be having up in this Humpty Bumpty. Zero if you are not. Let's just see that stream of binary flying up. Gamer, ready, go! Taking a poll. Ugh. You know what? We're going to call it Happy Singles Awareness Day. Happy, sad, you guys. Happy, sad. Cheers to you. And you know what? I was talking to, I was talking to my, my fine live folks before we went live. And you know what? There's even some stories that I could potentially share before we go live. But this is going to be the format. And today's Fun Day Monday. It is the Mass Contaminate Fun Day Monday. The Mass Contaminate Fun Day Monday. That's right. Where you are doing tons of contaminate to mess with your opponent. Ugh, I'm in a foul mood. Ugh, what a vile, evil day. And then, and then, in between each one, I'm just going to tell a little story about my relationship fails. It'll be kind of a good half and half because I know that some of you rolling in on your Tuesday after staying up eating pizza, re-watching Firefly for the 50th time because it was just one season and I don't know why. I may as well do that on a Monday night. And you trundle in on Tuesday morning, dejected, miserable, and you turn on Fun Day Monday. And I embrace you, my friend. Let's get that poll. 25% of people are in relationships. 75% are not. My single brothers, I salute you. Free people in relationships. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. No, no. Anyways. All right, cool, cool. Now, let's go ahead and... Uh, uh, I guess, I guess let's go ahead and uh, do a daily or something like that. Let's go into Fun Day Monday. But you know what, guys? It ain't so bad that I'm a single man. It ain't a terrible tragedy, right? It's not a big deal because, I mean, I spend all this time in my room. You know, we could always crowdsource it. We could always do some sort of, you know, like, let's create a poll, you know, kind of like Fun Day Monday submissions. It could just be like a dating site where I am the only man on there, and that's all I do. The profile of me is to watch all my dailies and you get to learn about me and then and then you know my admins will sort through them all right they'll they'll they'll, 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 they'll put stars next to the important uh replays or excuse me you know profiles and then and then we maybe we can work something out maybe i think that would be an effective way i think that would be pretty good i think that's pretty solid um how wonderful how wonderful before we begin with anything i'm just curious what dating was like for you in elementary school. Elementary school. Ah, oh, how amazing it was to have that crush. Because you didn't ever talk to her, did you? No, I certainly didn't. I never did. No, I would just sort of like look over and be like, uh, I, I, I like her. Yeah, and I, know, I don't even really know what I would think about back then. I would just think about, like, high-fiving and playing kickball. Baller! Oh, are you kidding me? Pimp alert. Seriously, I would be flashing red right now if I were, like, a pickup item in a video game. Just seriously important kick-assery over here. That's right. Playing kickball together. Maybe it's from Foursquare. Pretty good at that game. Not gonna lie. I was, like, the championship of the playground. But you know what was always such a struggle for me? You know what was always such a struggle? Whenever my brother found out about my crush. I was in third grade. He was in fourth grade. And he knew I had a crush on Gail. Oh my God! I almost said her full name. I'm not. I'm not going to damn her. I'm not going to damn that poor girl. Her name was Gail. And <laughs> my brother would be like, "Dude, if you don't let me play on the computer, I'm going to tell Gail you like her." And I'd be like, "No! Don't do it! My life will be over! Oh my God! I'll play 
with my Legos and cry. You know, I, don't, I didn't interact with her. I literally knew nothing about her. But they were like, oh my god. And and one day, one day when I was a little kid, one day, it was in break time in class. It was in break time. It's third grade, and I had this insane classroom where the teacher she had like animals, she had turtles and parakeets and gerbils and bunnies, and she let third grade children play with them. I would not trust a bunny's life with me, and I'm 24. But this woman had tons of bunnies that she would trust with third graders who would want to pick them up and put them into, like, tunnels and castles and shit. But I didn't want to play with the animals because, again, I still understood the value of life back then. I didn't want to kill an innocent, sweet, cute thing. So I built castles with cards. I built castles with cards. I built castles with cards. That's what I did. I was building and I was stacking them up. I was stacking them up. And then Gail comes close to me and she says, Sean, is there any chance I could help you build a card castle? And I went, no, I built this. What the fuck? Right? I, I didn't use that language back then, but that's how I felt. I built this. What, are you crazy? What's the matter with you? You want to come over here and take all the credit. You're going to go to everyone and be like, look at our card castle. It's my card castle, you selfish bitch. God, I was mad. I was livid. I actually got so upset. I had to be sent out in the hall, and I wept, and I had to stand on the line in recess. And my dating life has been all downhill from there. So let's go ahead and go into the first replay, right? Let's go into the first game. Let's see. Let's find out. Yeah! The mass contaminate daily. The mass contaminate daily. We have S R in the top right. In the bottom left, we have L E N D. Are oh, giving out the good luck, have fun. Nothing's fun today, Aliandar. Nothing is happy today. Oh, I can't even reopen StarCraft 2. Come on, open. Finally. Gosh, alright. Moving up. Moving right along. Here comes Eliandar. He's going to be making the Overlord. This guy is good. Oh, I didn't have the sound enabled. Today sucks. Oh. Oh, everything's going wrong. I woke up today and it was the 14th of February, and I was like, how? How is this possible? I can't believe it. I don't believe it. What the hell? So let's go ahead and blast through this as fast as we can. Here comes Eli Andar. So he's going to be scouting up. Again, the point of the daily is the mass contaminate daily. Let's go ahead and find out what that means. Very standard opening from Eli Andar. He's going to be adding on his spawning pool, and he's going to be mining 100 gas, at which point he won't take them out. Out of the gas geyser he'll just leave them he'll just tease that gas geyser he'll just lead that geyser on a little bit longer and be like no 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 i want more i'm gonna keep asking for a good relationship all game long that's what he did but then after he had enough he just dropped them like it was nothing that's what he did there's the, and he's not even using it he he just he's not even using this gas geyser at all he has a hundred oh this spawning pool got seriously friend zoned he got friend zoned hard. He didn't even deserve it. And now, look, he's back and he's researching. It doesn't matter. He's expanded at this point. There it is. He's expanded. We see that the cybernetics core is now uh, getting out the warp gate. Very typical stuff. Three warp gate opening. Most normal thing in the world. Most normal thing in the world. Uh, it looks like Eliandar is uh, going to be uh, adding some larva. Come on, do it. You need to nurture that hatchery. You need to show it love and affection. And show that hatch that you care and that it's important and provides something valuable. See it open. That is not appropriate, CR. That is actually not okay. Anyways, we're now seeing uh, a lot of drones being made. We're seeing the Roach Warren go down by Eliandar. Layer coming up. Good, because that will allow him to actually do the things that will, uh, you know, actually allow him the tech to be able to build them overseers. Come on, build them overseers. Come on, Eliandar. Come on, I know you can do it. I believe in you. I trust you, Eliandar. And sometimes it can be so hard to trust Eliandar. Sometime I can... Uh, and you just use these ones over here. That's fine. That's fine. As long as you're happy. The important thing is that you're happy, Eliandar. There he is. Here comes the Overseer right now. Uh, we see that R is doing the usual expand. Okay, cool. There's the plus one forge. Uh, this is very standard. Uh, oh, we see some more gateways going down. Photon cannons coming up as well. Oh, Roach speed. Fantastical. Very good. Very good. Uh, typical sort of build. Where are the Overseers? I know they're at least somewhere on this map. I want... Okay, cool. Oh, and we're also getting the Carapace upgrade. Now, now that we've sort of seen the usual establishment, remember, the first replay of every Funday Monday is to give you a sense 
of the baseline goal of a fun day Monday, right? So in this circumstance, what is exciting to me about the idea of contaminate is one, just showing you the power of contaminate and the sorts of cool things that can happen. Two, can you do this strategy and integrate it into a pretty normal, typical strategy? If I said something like, I want you to go six port battle cruiser on one base, there would be almost nothing reasonable that would lead into that. But hey, we see roaches, expansions. We see our gas not being spent on more upgrades or tech, but instead we see them being spent on overseers. Watch, -a, very cool stuff. Let's see what ends up happening. Very cool, very cool. All right, we do see some overlords popping out right now. There is the other overlord from Eliandar coming up. Gateway going down. Again, Sar is going to be adding on the usual mix, mainly sentry heavy as he's establishing these six gateways with which he can do a push because dangling prepositions is something up with which I never put. So we shall return back to this game, see all these vital structures. Uh-oh, uh-oh. He even has overlord speed, which means he has super ninja ultra fast overlords going to be able to dart in and out as they please. There are a lot of roaches being made right now. Spire going up. Not a lot of drone saturation. Not a big deal. He does have them three bases up. Here comes the Overseer. Is he going to get something useful? Is he going to get something useful? Oh, that's fine. He's in a good position. It's fine. It doesn't matter. I'm not mad. I'm not mad. And it looks like, though, uh-oh, huge push coming up. The six gate push. Oh, my God. We even see a plus one attack upgrade. And here comes the Overseer's... Oh, come on. Come on, give it to him. Alright, and we're going to see more buildings get gacked up. Here it comes. Cool, alright? He's pretty much effectively shut down reinforcements from this push for the next 30 seconds. One thing I want you to note is look at how high Sa'ar's money is going on right now. Look at how high this money is. This is generally higher than you would experience because as all you Protoss players know and love, around six gateways and upgrades churning out units, it's about as much as you can support while still adding on pylons. But suddenly the money's getting high. This push, though, looks very, very intimidating. It has a very high sentry count. Once you start getting a critical number of stalkers with that sentry mix, it's very hard for the roaches to be able to deal with. You look at the unit counting station, 28 roaches. But uh-oh, we're seeing that all these gateways are now finishing up. And there they warped in a production cycle. But again, they're getting gacked up. It is cutting off the ability for this to be aggressive in half. Here comes the big push. Gosh, that's so many gateway units. There's the guardian shields going down. We see more force fields getting in the way of things. This can be very rough. Uh-oh, but you know what? There are more gackings going on on this warp gate. And suddenly we're seeing that Eliandar is starting to be able to hold this off. Because look at the money. Look at how high this money is for our Protoss hero. And if we select all these things, we realize he can actually only really make out of one of them. Despite the fact that, you know, out of these ones... Um, some of them are even able to produce. They don't have any cooldown remaining. So this is something that really, really, really excites me. This is something that really, really turns me on. Look at that. This push was barely defended. This was a fairly intimidating push to defend, but look at the result afterwards. 65 food versus 115 food. Our Zerg buddy has an expansion. Our beautiful Zerg hero is looking good. He's looking fine. Let's go ahead and advance on into it. Let's go ahead. We see that double Robo Bay going down from CR. Generally, you cannot support this many structures, but look at the amount of gak and goop he'd be given to him. That is a ton. Look at the resource distribution. Sa'ar really cannot even spend this money quickly enough. And now we see that there are double immortals coming out as he's feeling under a lot of pressure. Uh-oh, we see Sa'ar adding on more roaches. And again, these overseers have been a very, very key instrument um, in being able to defend this push and also a, uh, allowing for some aggression. Look at this, 150 versus is 80 food. Zerg in a commanding position. I'm going to go ahead and speed things right along. Uh, Protoss basically doing everything he can to just stay alive. And of course we see more gooping up. Can't make no mo uh, immortals. But here comes Zerg. Going to try to dart in there. But two more immortals actually popped out not long ago. He's going to be able to target fire. He's trying to eat his way in. Well, you know, it's getting a little bit closer. But the Hydra's coming in. And again, look at this great contaminating action. Look at that. Immortals are not going to be able to come out and help. Well, you know what? Um, Elion Dar is having a lot of Hydralisks uh, out. Probably going to be wanting to do a lot more on those Robos. Yeah, now that we see the Robo Bay. Intense contaminate action. This is kick-ass, right? And if you think about it, if you think about it, if you consider it, if you just put your mind to it, 
It's not that much gas. A lot of you Zerg players out there are always just like, I'm going to get 24 million Mutalisks. You know, actually, more realistically, in Zerg vs. Terran, you're just like, I'll have 24 Mutalisks at all points in time. And you're swinging your arms like this because you're happy. But imagine if you just had 20 Mutalisks and this many Overseers. Oh, oh, I show you four Overseers. Ooh, oh, four of them, just this many. And all of a sudden, you can bring all sorts of pain, bring all sorts of uh, hurt and woundedness. All fantastic. Very cool. I'd like to thank all 12,000 people tuning in right now live who value video games and humor more than a date i appreciate that i value you because let me tell you something i don't have a hot date scheduled right now i don't i have a hot date with hulu and netflix and <gasps> fat fat food let me pause this i am gonna eat fat food tonight i'm gonna be such a oh my god i'm gonna get like deep fried bacon and fries just dipped in like chocolate and mayonnaise and just ah, because I don't have to impress anyone. What you think? You think I care? There's some dust on this shirt. You see this? This is dust. I could, I could just, I could do that. I could, I could get this dirt off my shoulder, right? I'm not gonna. I'm not. I don't care. I don't care. I could shave today. I could, but you know what? No one's getting the nuzzle tickle. Ain't nobody gonna get a nuzzle tickle today. That's right. Comic books, here I come. Fat, fat food. I'm so excited. I'm gonna eat 8,000 calories. This is so gonna be unbelievable. We see that the Colossus is out. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Where are Overseers? We see no Overseers out right now, but it's okay. He has the expansion up and running. We see that looks like Protoss is in a little bit of an awkward spot because he's broken the main. Oh, my gosh. That's right. The mineral fields are running so low. He's gonna try to destroy this. He's gonna take his gold, but he has to play defensively. Zerg taking his gold. Zerg taking this expansion at the right me having a little bit too much saliva in his mouth good 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 advancing forward uh oh taking out the gold but that's okay we have a free high corruptor count he's advancing forward he's gonna try to pick up the colossi but no it looks like the rest of the army is a little too big and eliandar is in a little bit of a rough position he's trying to get more hydralis on and he's the, the way he can defend is uh if he builds more Roaches. He maybe a counterattack. Do you have any overseers? So there's your in intro. Happy Fun Day Monday. Happy Valentine's Day. Sometimes we do things for fun and we get mauled emotionally. Oh, good game. You know what? People are typing this in the chat. I'm going to share this story with you. I'm going to share two stories in between this game and the next game. So, once upon a time, Day9 was in love. Day9 was in love. I talked to all you guys. Oh, you live chat viewers are such bastards. I'm going to show you exactly. Let me actually just pause for a minute and just show that up on the screen in a moment. So, once upon a time, Day9 was in love. Let's put on the sultry, sexy voice. Baby, please, all I want is for you to be pleasured. Oh, yes, all I care is about you feeling good, my love, my darling. There was a girl I was with. I was head over heels. I couldn't imagine a more perfect, radiant maiden. All creation. She was the one for me. And she was having some struggles. There was some tension, some stress, biting, eating away at her very existence. And I sat her down and I said, Sweetie, baby, darling, honey, little dinosaur snuggums and other things that are cute, I swear to God. I sat her down and I said, Baby, I love happy you. I love it when you're happy and we have fun and we laugh and we watch movies and we hang out together and we embrace and we cuddle and I give you the little nuzzle on the neck. I love that, but I want you to know I don't just want happy you. I want all of you. And this stress that I can tell has been bothering you, you don't have to talk about it to me, but I want you to know that I will be here for you and it will not weird me out. I will not run away. I want all of you, baby. And she got so mad at me for saying that, she dumped me on the spot. <gasps> oh my god. I went to give her a high five, and she inadvertently pulled out a chainsaw and cut off my torso. And my gut spilled out. And I was like, man, that high five went poorly. That is what happened. That is not an exaggerated story. And what drove me so nuts about this girl is that she was an awful person. And you're saying, Sean, Sean, how can you say that about another human being? Well, let me show you with notepad. All right, listen, look, okay? Let's check it. This, I, let me minimize this. Let me, where's, okay, good. When I'm with someone, I let them know that I'm into this game called Starcraft, where I develop most of my 
friendships and derive my happiness, right? Okay, it's an important part of who I am, as you might imagine. So what did I do? I was telling your terminology like Gosu, or in particular, this one that you all know and love. Whoops. Just two G's, right? That's what I told her. I was like, GG. And you know what she did? You know what she did? You know what she would type to me? She would type to me this. That's how she represented GG. That's not okay. That is not a good game. You'll never see the top players in the world be like, oh, G dot, G dot. You know, what, 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 what? I look at that and I'm like, what? What was she thinking? This is okay. That's okay. Even this is okay. Or like, that's fine. Like that. But this? What? And she would do it at the worst possible times to be like, I hated today. I failed my test. And she'd be like, you deserved it. And then she'd be like, GG. <sighs> oh, what a way to defile my very existence. I couldn't believe it. So let me just go ahead and do a copy paste of the chat. After I ended that game, uh, people were typing things like this. <laughs> Bastards. How evil, how vile. All right, okay, so how are we doing on time? Good, we're 20 minutes in. Let me tell you a story, guys. Let me tell you a story about one of the first kisses I ever had. One of my first kisses. <sighs> it was so wonderful. Okay, so this is what happened. There was this girl I was into. Let's make up a name for her. Let's call her Felicity. Oh, a sexy name. So I said, hey, Felicity, you want to... You want to come over? And she was like, oh, sure, I'll come over. And I was like, weird. Because normally, up to that point, when I was like, hey, do you want to come hang out? The girl was like, no. Is that okay? And I'd be like, no, that's fine. And hang up the phone and be like, maybe I should have told her it wasn't fine. And then maybe she would have hung out with me. All right, But no, but no, as a young, young boy, I just said, Felicity, baby, come on over. And she was like, all right. And I was like, oh. And then she came over and she like rang the doorbell and I opened the door. And I just literally, I was like, Hi. You, come, you know, get come in. I didn't. I had no idea what to do. I literally didn't know what to do. You know, some people, some you know, people come up to me and they're like, "Sean, you're such a relationship guru. Tell me, Sean, you have such game. How do I get with this pretty lady?" And you know what the answer is? You go up and you go, hey, and you just talk to her like a normal person and be friendly and and be yourself that's that's the key there you go but when i was young i didn't i couldn't do that i, I opened the door uh, come in uh all right okay so so you know as, as eventually i was like do you want to like watch a movie and she's like all right so i put on something you know romantic the passion of christ so we're sitting down and we're and we're watching you know we're watching a movie together and that was great and, you know, we're sitting, we're sitting next to each other, you know, and it's one of those, like, uh, I don't know how to describe it. It, it, it's like this much distance, you know, like this much distance to where, like, if I tried to, like, put my arm around her, her shoulder would actually end out here, so I can, I can, like, all, I can, like, pat her on the back. That's the distance we're working with, right? It's not, it's not enough to, like, snuggle, like, come here, baby, let's be a unit. It's not enough for that. It's, it's sort of, you know, like, if I needed to get her attention, I could, but that's about it. And and I realized I'm, I just kind of wanted to kiss her, and right? I was like, oh, "Kiss this lady. Let's 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 pull some moves because I have game." So I just said, uh, "Kristen," and she's like, "Yeah." What name did I make up for her? Felicity. Good. So I said, "Felicity, <laughs> smooth." I damned her, didn't I? I've just damned somebody. That's cool. It's that's a common name, Felicity. <sighs> All right, so I said, Felicity. <laughs> and she goes, she goes, yeah. And I go, can I, can I kiss you? And she goes, all right. Just like that. Totally indifferent. As if I was like, hey, can I, do you want to go, can I go get a bag of peanuts? And she's like, all right. Didn't even care. Like one of those, I'll be here if you need me kind of responses. So I was like, all right. So, so here's the distance. So I kind of, I, I got to close the distance. All right, I got to close the distance. And, and, and she, okay, so let me actually, she's, she's like this. She's like leaning back hard in the sofa, like really hard. Like, have you ever, have you ever been on a sports team and, and, you know, like you do stretches where you have, you know, you have to do like this sort of thing where you like hold your thing up and you have your balance and they're like, just stare at a spot on the ground and you won't lose your balance. That was her technique for kissing, right? Because she's just picked a spot on the wall and stared. So this is what I did. So I'm, here I am. So I, 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 I like sit up, so there she is, scoot over, and then, and then I lean forward, 
and, and then I, and then I turn, and then I kind of like turn, pull my body this way, and then I pull my head back, and I'm trying to go back like that, but the angle is impossible. I can't get, and she's back here. She's like, come on, come on, come at me, bro. Come at me, bro. She won't help. So I'm this close to her lips. I can feel her hot breath on my braces because I was ugly back then. And I'm so close, and I pull this muscle in my neck hard, really, like, violently badly. So I'm really close to her face, and it hurts, so I just go, <laughs> that's what I did. Captain Smooth is smooth. And I was just like, <laughs> and, and she goes, what is it? What, what happened? And I went, nothing. And went in for the kill. I went in for the kiss. So there we are. We're kissing. And I'm, I'm so embarrassed. I, like, literally, like, my emotions were, were, were doing this. This is how I felt inside. But I was like, all right, whatever. I guess I'll just. And this is like one of my first kisses ever. I think I'd like, that's all I'd done at that point in life, right? And. And, and and kissing her, you know, God, I was so young. It felt like kissing a sock puppet. We were both just like, ah, 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 yeah, you don't know what to do if you've never kissed anyone. You have no idea. Have you ever been to the dentist and they're like, time for the fluoride treatment, and they put like the root beer flavored thing in your mouth, and you just have to go, ah, la, 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 la. It was like that. Uh, and, then, and then we stopped, and I sat back. And I, I had to, like, pull back, and I could feel the tension sort of relieving, so I'm like, oh, 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 and she's like, I'm really embarrassed, and I was like, you don't have to be embarrassed, and then she went home. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. What are people... Oh, people, yeah, you're supposed to micro, Sean. You're supposed to micro. Yep, yeah, that's right. That's right. Let's get some comments from the chat. Let's get some comments from the chat. Here we go, handy notepad. Very good. Very good. Thank you, Lateralis. Thank you. Very good. Don't save that. Don't save that. Let's forget that. Let's go into our next game. Let's go into our next game of the day. So we can talk about uh, Contaminate. We can talk about StarCraft, because this is a show about edutainment. Uh, let's see. What is this build? Yes. Yes. Sandwich versus Zaprotos. Yes. Here we go. In the bottom left corner, we have the Day 9 Daily Viewer. Sandwich is the Daily Viewer. Yeah, I hear it's really good with the strategies and shit. Oh, yeah. He builds a lot of drones and shit. He's Overlord. He's scouting up to the north. And we have the Protoss at the right position. No, oh, good luck, have fun, why is the Protoss playing the Zerg? Oh, 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 I'm pretty funny and I'm very ghost with the strategies and shit. Alright, here we go, here comes the drone from the Protoss. Moving on out, very good, here is the Protoss moving up to the Northlands. We see that uh, he's adding on an Overlord, this is perfect. Um, Smurf Akuan... Uh, it looks like the Protoss is making the Overlord. Now, we're going to see from the Sandvich, who's really ghost with the strategies and shit and shit. He's going to be scouting with his drone. He's going to be doing what we like to call the Day 9 build. He's getting the Extractor out. He's getting the Spawning Pool out in that order. Both of them doing essentially the same thing at this point. We're going to see the Protoss do a slight deviation in that he's not putting any guys in the gas because he doesn't care. And there his pool's finishing. In a short bit of time, he's going to be adding on the Spawning Pool. We're seeing the, uh, oh, uh, an in-base evolution chamber. Uh, a forward evolution chamber, a reconnaissance-based evolution chamber. It's very good to do a little scouting with your Evo chambers. Because one thing people forget about the Evo chamber is that it can't fucking move at all because it's a building. So he's going to put that building in his opponent's base and leave it there like a, like a parasite. Good. Perfect. And, and meanwhile, we see the Roach Warren going down, we see the double gas, we see him just sort of cuddling along the outside edge, because in StarCraft, cuddling is something you can always get when you need it. And there's, uh-oh, it looks like we have a Hatchery coming down into a layer. In the meantime, we see, uh-oh, what do we see? A Baneling Nest, Zergling Speed almost done. Here comes the Protoss. Oh yeah, I'm, oh, it's my layer is almost done. I've got the, the Roach and the shit, okay. Defense, 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 and here comes the Banelings. Defend, defend, Sandwich, defend, defend. Then, uh-oh, uh-oh, Banelings crashing into everything, crunching into everything, look at that great placement. By the sandwich, yeah, that's really, really, really cool, I think that's pretty cool, yeah. 
And meanwhile, we see no Overseers being built yet, but we see a reasonably solid defense. M meantime, Protoss is opting to absolutely not nurture his hatchery in any regard, no matter what. He is, um... Trying to add on larva. He's going to add on that larva. He's going to do it. He's going to add on the larva. We're going to see the larva get added on at some point in the near future. Absolutely. I would never lie to you. Because one thing that I value is trust. I value this trust that we have established between us. And I would never want to violate it. I mean, I'm human. Sometimes I say the wrong thing. I'm not going to lie. But I know that we're going to repair this between you and me. We're going to talk it out. And then we're going to hug. Because I like hugging. I think hugging is pretty fun. So we also see the Banelings moving forward. Oh my gosh, the Roach Speed coming out as well. The Banelings trying to move in for a critical kill, and he blocks it! But it doesn't even matter because it looks like he managed to do a little bit of damage from on the other side of the Minerals. The Scouting Evolution Chamber, surprisingly effective considering it's a fucking building. Considering it cannot move from A to B because it only ever will be at A. Ever. Ever. It will never move on to the next step, no matter how hard he tries or what he says, or how nice he is, he is stuck where he is in life. Great. Let's move on. Perfect. There it's good. There's the proxy evolution chamber that scouts. There's, looks like, hmm, trying to continue to build, but uh-oh, do I see something a broodin' broodin'? The sandwich! Oh yeah, I have like three overseers. I'm going to go into his base. I'm going to contaminate him. He won't be able to build shit and shit. <laughs> okay, yeah, here's it come. Oh my goodness, scooting to the right and to the right. Here we go. This might be the worst accent I've ever done in my life, but don't judge me. All right, let's get a resource count. 39 to 46. Pretty close. 39 to 46. Ladies and gentlemen, 39 to 46. That would be embarrassing if I just accidentally killed myself on air. But no, I'm a man. I can take it. I'm strong and burly. Seriously, have you ever seen arms this hairy? Have you ever seen a man that hairy? Look at the fur on these arms. Not on this side. Look, I'm like a total cherub. This is great. But I, this is the squatch right here. This is the squatch. That's right. Perfect. Perfect. Good. The man is in. But you know what? Let's get a food count. 46 to 39. 46 to 39. 46 to 39. 46 to 39. I've always wanted to, to do that so they can get me units. <laughs> the Protoss needs to eat more fruit, if you know what I mean. So there we see him coming in. There's okay, okay, good. He's uh, <laughs> oh, he's pretty powerful. <laughs> he's the powerful. Uh, looks like the scouting Evo Chamber cannot scout no mo. But look at this, 39 to. 39 to 60? 39 to 60? Oh, nope, nope. Nope, you can't breathe. You can't breathe. Come on, get, is it, is it gonna, it can, can maybe, maybe I can has larva? No, 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 nope. Uh-uh, uh-uh, not gonna happen. Not at all gonna happen. Oh, oh, no, no, oh my gosh. Oh no, he's getting it again. Uh, okay, is he gonna actually get the chance to build some larva? Is he gonna get the chance to do it? Nope, nope, no siree. How many larva have popped out? I don't know. Let's ask two different questions and answer them with the same number. Do I have, how many, how many ladies do I have in my life? And how many larvae have popped out since the contaminate began? This many. This many. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Singles Awareness Day. Happy sad. Happy sad, folks. That's right. That's right. Here we go. That's right. Excuse me. I have J ladies in my life. I have all J of them crazy, crazy bitches up in this Humpty Bumpty. And then we see, okay, maybe he'll be able to get some larvae. And right as it pops out, blah. There's one larva popping out. <gasps> 74 to 37. He got a 30 food gain. A 30 food gain. A 30... A 30 food... A 30 food gain he got. Okay, now this is something... I need to take a break from all my sort of faux misery. Because honestly, how can I be miserable? What I'm only doing is talking about StarCraft in my room. Um, I need to take a break from that to highlight the salient facts here. You can contaminate someone's hatchery and get a 40 food advantage growth. Excuse me, uh, is that right? 40? 30? A lot! 30 food! 30 food! He's stuck at 39, you get up to 75 flexing your hairy guns, right? Yeah, that is a extraordinary, extraordinary lead. That is awesome. That is awesome. And you know what? He didn't reveal the overseers. He waited until they had quite a good amount of energy and then started popping them in and out. So the Protoss really could not handle this ghost to ghost to ghost to ghost strategy. This was going to be really, 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 really hard. Okay, so 
Uh, looks like Zasan Vich is beginning to dart in. Uh, all right, it's doing a good amount of damage. Uh-oh, uh-oh, but you know what? When you're at 74 food to 16, GG, well, stop. That's what that means. I didn't think it would last long enough. I've always wanted to do that. Was about six back to back. Try it out sometimes. Try it out. Yeah, I think you'll find you'll have a pretty good time in shit. Very good. Thank you, the sa Thank you, the sandwich. I thought that was pretty cool. Oh, yeah. So, uh, that's great. That's fantastic. Uh, very good. A lot of people doing the G dot, G dot. That's fantastic. That's, those, that's again, the salient points to highlight. Hmm. How are we doing on time? It's been 35 minutes. This is perfect. This is so good. Ugh, ugh. Well, I'm going to take a brief commercial break to say uh, sincerest hearts to all of you. To any of you who are single out there, don't worry. Just have fun. Be a happy person. To any of you couples out there, also hope you have a lovely time. Uh, and, and do something nice for your significant other. If you haven't, you're being a very, very naughty significant other. Don't do that. All right, cool. Now let's talk about why it's embarrassing to be me. So, um, once upon a time... Uh, there was this girl named Felicity again. Let's go ahead and call her Felicity. I'm sure I'm gonna mess that up again. But her name was Felicity. Let's just kind of throw it out there. Her name was Felicity. And I, um, I, I inadvertently took Felicity on a date. I didn't actually mean to. It, it didn't actually, it didn't actually register, uh, to me that this is what was happening. Because, you know, I'd had a really long week. I had this incredibly long week. I had so much work. I was staying up late. I was trying to turn in projects. Even sometimes I was turning in 30 minutes late and just saying to the prof, I'm sorry. I just, oh, gosh. And I was doing a lot of, like, food and run, you know, where you take your meal like a pill. I was going to the dining hall, just like, shove food on there and like eating it on the way back to my room so I could just like work and then I was like time to have some coffee you know inject the coffee right like oh that's perfect I'd be like pouring Red Bull in my eyes so I could stay awake and focus and get all this and get all this shit done and shit and then um and I was finally done and it was like Friday I was like oh thank god you know what I'm gonna go to my favorite Italian restaurant tonight I'm absolutely gonna go to my favorite Italian restaurant it's gonna be awesome it's gonna be so perfect this Italian restaurant that I'm going to go to. I, I was just going to like go. And then and then I realized, oh man, I told Felicity I'd, I'd go get lunch with her this week and I completely blew her off. Oh, whoopsie daisy. So I call her and I'm like, Felicity, I'm really sorry that I just kind of disappeared this week. I'm, But you know, I'm, I'm going down to, to get food at this Italian restaurant if you, know, if you want to join or something like that. And she said, oh... Oh, I'd, I'd, I'd like that. I'd really like that. I was like playing Minesweeper. I, wouldn't, I was not paying attention. I was not paying attention at all. I was just, ooh, doom, 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 doom. For the record, my expert time is pretty good. It's about 75 seconds. Just throwing it out there. Not going to get me laid. Not going to help at all. That is not game to be good at Minesweeper. But I can click them buttons. I can indeed. So, um... Uh, I was just playing some Minesweeper, wasn't really paying attention because I was on like my superhero expert run. I probably could have gotten sub seventy then, sub seventy seconds. Pff, oh, I, I really like that. Do you want? Do you want to come? Maybe, maybe meet me at my my hotel room. Uh, uh. She's she's apparently very wispy when talking. Oh, do you want to meet me? But my hotel room, my dorm room. Sorry. Yeah. My college was so expensive because they made everyone live in hotels for the semester. Oh man, but it's okay because we got student loans for our, for our hotels. So anyways, I was just like, want to come by my door? And I was like, yeah, sure, that, whatever. I was like being so rude. I was like not even paying attention. Uh, but you know what? I'm a bachelor, right? I'm told, everything those bachelor frog comics do, I do. That's me. That's who I am as a person. I was so low on clean laundry. I was almost at the point where it was just like pants and a sweater and no shirts, you know, just like, I was almost to like swim trunks and like a blazer because I was just like, no, I just don't want to do my laundry. <laughs> Screw it. I'm not doing it. Um, but the only shirt I had clean was this really nice collared shirt. It's really nice button up and it was actually, you know, fitted. So, you know, it kind of had a nice, nice little, little, little cut to it. I, I didn't want it to, I, I don't know, I hadn't worn it in like eight months. So I didn't, I was worried it might, you know, smell weird, but you know, whatever. I'll just put some cologne on. Um, it's that way, you know, it just smells nice. Maybe mask anything that's, that's sort of weird. And I'm just like, all right, cool, that's fine. And then, and then I go over to her hotel. I go over to Felicity's hotel, and and then I take one look at her, and she's wearing a scarf. She's wearing a scarf, a scarf, a scarf. She's wearing a scarf. Okay, do you understand? A scarf. What, what does that mean? That's not meaningful. In Southern California, 82 degree weather, you don't wear a scarf. Just because you want to hang out. And it was a matching scarf. 
It was a scarf that was like kind of like black with a little bit of goldiness to it. And a belt was black with a little bit of gold. Like the buckle was round and gold. It matched. And all of it oh my God. Oh my gosh. Oh, I really like your shirt. You smell so good. And I was like, I do. Oh, oh no. Oh no. And we're like walking down to the Italian restaurant. I'm like, oh. And every time I say a joke, actually not even every time I say a joke. It doesn't even matter what I say. I could have been like, I failed my math exam and I'm going to have to drop out of college. <laughs> you know, she was, she was so, like, just e ecstatic to be on this, like, and I was just like, oh, it was not a date, right? And, and she's like, oh, oh she's like, so, I'm so happy to be with you. And I was like, oh, why do I smell so good and look so fine? And we get to this restaurant, and I didn't make a reservation because I was just going to wander down there. And, and, and I go up there, and um, and and I look around, and there's there's my friend, there's my friend Greg with his girlfriend, I look there, and there's my friend Jason with his girlfriend, and there's, and there's Molly, and Molly's with her boyfriend, and my friend Katie was there with her boyfriend. And then I realized, wait a minute, it's Valentine's Day. Yes, that's right. That is correct. This story, this is the anniversary of that story. It did not occur to me that on a Friday after a long week, just putting on my collared shirt and my, and my amazing cologne, which, by the way, was Lucky You Cologne. Oh, baby, baby. Taking this girl who was wearing a scarf to dinner on Valentine's Day. This did not dawn on me. I swear to God, this never occurred to me. This is perfect. And I'm sitting there, and I'm like, I'm like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. I can't believe it. I'm giving mixed messages with this date. So uh, it was so terrible because the guy at the restaurant was like, and dinner for how many? And she's like, dinner for two. And I was like, oh, no. And like every single female friend I knew who was single all showed up as a troop. Like 15 of them. Because like they didn't have dates that nice. They're like, we're just going to have a night with girls out on the town. I was like, yeah. And they like just walked around the corner. And they were like, oh, Sean, who's your friend? I was like, this is my absolutely neutrally valued acquaintance, Felicity. <laughs> She's nothing. <laughs> like, Because now, now, I mean, I'm pretty good at communicating when we're friends, right? I totally do not like, well, you know, I'm not like, oh, I'll totally give you all the signals. And then be like, oh, I never knew why. Uh, so now I have to be like really harsh in the opposite direction. Um, so I, I, I drew smiley faces with the salt packets in the restaurant. So I hope that that was an adequate way to convey the correct message. I hope that that was sufficient. I hope that sufficed. Uh, let's go ahead and look into another game that was pretty strong. That was a good build. That's pretty good. Hmm. Um, oh yeah, people considering to do GG. This is perfect. This is perfect. All right, let's go into game two. Let's go into, uh, actually, our third game. Our third game. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Singles Awareness Day. Don't look at these titles. Good. Going into it. Going into it with another regular submitter, Harg, who has submitted more than one daily in life. And none other than Psionic Fury. Psionic Fury. Psionic Fury. Psionic Fury. Very good. Very good. So Psionic Fury spawning at the bottom. Um, you are Protoss. So, Kalos are imbalanced. OP versus Zergs. What does Warg have to say about it? Someone should make a show about the Kalos. You sly raccoon. I dug that one. That was a good line. I'm into it. Hwarg. I'm feeling it. Hwarg. Good boy. Good boy. Overlord cheated. Happy face. Good. Getting the scouting out. Getting the scouting down. This is so good. This is fantastic. Now let's watch how Hwarg plays this out. We have the spawning pool going down. We have the hatchery going down as well. We have an extractor being morphed. We have a cybernetics core being warped. We have... The assimilator also getting constructed. People talking, being friendly. That's great. I think that's wonderful. Uh, we also see that there is a chrono boost going down. Show me a sentry, please, as though it's a game show. Here is a hidden gateway. Uh-oh. Gateway gets spotted. Huar mining a little gas, getting a little, uh, getting a little speed, make it. Mm, excuse me, making himself a little bit of a queen. Making himself a little bit of a queen. There's the queen coming out. Very good. Queen's coming out. There is going to be a lair. <gasps> Where's your lair? Where's your lair? Oh my god, I almost died of inhaling. Literally. And then we, in the meantime, we see the usual sort of construction here from Sonic Fury. The expo, the warp gates going down, the forge, all that sort of good stuff. We see the roach worn coming up while the lair is building. Again, a very common thing to see Zergies do. Look at the double queen efficiency. Oh! Gooping it up, Nickelodeon Gak style, very good. There is the hallucinated Phoenician ending up scouting in, but what's this? What's this? What's this? What's this? 
Um, by the way, if any of you would be so kind as to watch the movie The Nightmare Before Christmas, um, remember that, that, that part where he's like, what's this? What's this? There's white things in the air. What's this? There's white things in the air. I don't know what the hell the song goes, but I, I know that those some of those lyrics are accurate. <laughs> I can confirm that. Um, I, I want like a remix of that for StarCraft for any of you musically talented people. I'm not musically talented. But let's go ahead and uh, just throw that out there. Just dishing that out. I know there's many, very many talented musical producers out there in the SC community. So I'd love it if you did something wonderful for me. So we can at least have something, something, something to cherish today. So uh, we do see that there's the gateways going down, the robo facilities. Uh-oh, uh-oh, oh, getting goop, getting goop, Psionic Fury. Money's getting high again. Money's getting high. And keep in mind that whenever your money's high and you can't produce, you forget that you got pylon blocked a long time ago. I'm not going to lie. This is probably the funniest thing I consistently saw in all these Contaminate games where it was like, all right, I'm going to be ready to contaminate. I'm going to be ready. And the Protoss was like, all right, bring it. Bring it. It's totally fine. And like every Protoss forgot a pylon like for 20 minutes <laughs> because all stuff would be contaminated. Ugh, can't build. And then they'd get contaminated again. Ugh, I still can't build. And then, and then, and then he would just, you know, run out of contaminate and not be able to build anything because he's at 76 of 76 food. Ha! So cool, so awesome to see. Brings out the pain. Yes, all your warp dates are done. And there, finally, some pylons end up finishing. Churning it out. In the meantime, uh-oh, roaches! Uh, doing a little bit of damage on this side. Look at the mini-map! Look at war expanding himself out, just just stretching himself all over this map. This is fantastic. And gooping it up. Getting gooped, getting gooped. Very good. And this little guy... Get, getting ignored. Getting ignored. Getting ignored. Just getting, just getting pushed to one side like he's not important. Just wants to be part of the fun pack right here. In the meantime, we see Org throwing out tons of the Hydrodiscus. And we see tons of the Hydrodiscus also uh, being produced as well. Uh, Pylon's coming down now. This is very good. There's the Pylon also getting taken out in mid. Zerg has his whole map gooped up. Look at the vision advantage that he has. Look at Protoss's vision. Uh-oh. And again, notice the extraordinarily high count of money. Uh, oops, didn't put any guys in this gas geyser, but you know what? I think the big thing that we're having a little struggle with as Protoss is the fact that we just do not really have an ability to produce things because these annoying little overseers that are hanging out here all day here comes the huge max push from Warg. Get him, Warg. Show him who the boss is. And there he is darting in. He gets cut in half. And what does he do? He gacks. He gacks. He gacks all over him. Getting gacked. Getting gacked good. And it looks like, oh no, because Stalkers and Void Rays and Colossi are super imba. And we should all make a TV show about that. We see that it's going to be a little bit of a struggle for our Zerg here to be able to break it. But you know what? At least he can't build probes at that Nexus. At least he cannot. No probes allowed at that Nexus. Not going to happen at all. Done. Dunsies. No more funsies for you. And there, of course, we see all the rest of uh, the good old units uh, cleaning everything up. Fortunately for... War, look at this. 25 drones getting made in the unit production tab. We see 57 drones out. Going to be up in the 80s. Oh. Uh, meanwhile, we see that Sonic Fury is still having a little bit of trouble keeping his money low. Overall, his mac macro is pretty decent, but you know what? Just cannot quite combat the power of the Contaminate. Void Rays would be really cool to have those Overseers constantly contaminating these Stargates. They would never, ever, ever have the Void Rays see the light of day. Probes getting transferred. Here they come in again. Gotta be careful. Getting gooped. Getting gooped. Thank you very much. We do see Psionic Fury trying to rebuild. Uh-oh, he's going to make two more Stargates because these ones are just out of commission. We do see, again, a very intimidating RV moving out by Horg. But you know what? Horg got himself a little bit serious all of a sudden. Yes, he did. Seven Overseers being produced. In the unit counting station, we have eight Overseers. I would like to remind you of the following fact, which you may not have considered. Let's get comfy and talk about it. Overseers require no food. No food required for overseers. None. None. Zero food required for overseers. Guys, how much food does an overseer require? Let's go ahead and pull the chat. Fifteen. No, it's actually zero. Good. Wow, surprisingly large amount of people not saying zero. You guys are so cool. <laughs> zero, period. I'm seeing a lot. Very good. That's right, no food. None. Zero food. Zero food. No matter what you're doing, when you get maxed, you can do nothing but spam overseers and mess your opponent up. You know how I always talk about the 300 food push, where you get tons and tons and tons of larva, and then just rally and just send shit. Just send it, send it, send it. 
and you just keep making stuff, how cool would it be if you contaminated all of Protoss' buildings so that he couldn't reinforce? You could take out Expos no problem. Cool. Cool. 300 food pushing techniques, thanks to the Overseer. 15 Overseers out. Very good. And here comes Protoss. Imba, Imba, Imba. Killing, 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 killing. Unbelievableness. And here comes the Overseer fleet. Get him. Get him, Harg. Lay it to him, Harg. Quickly, before he makes any units, Harg. Quickly. Run, Harg. Oh, Psionic Fury. You are so lucky. This is a luck-based situation. Nothing but luck. Here comes the lucky contaminates. That's a little bit of luck. A little bit of luck on you. And luck on you and luck on you. And luck on you and luck here and luck there. You got lucked. There it is. Getting luck. I got to put probes on one of my assimilator. And Hwarg. Oh, yes. Else you win. Hwarg. Be nice. Today's about love and caring and friendship and embracement and love. And love. Be loving. Be caring. Don't, don't, don't stress him out. You need to let him know that it's okay. No matter what he says, you'll always be here for him. With all your <laughs> changelings. But seriously, half the base getting gapped. Very good. So what do we see? Over 40 roaches getting produced. Hwarg! 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 It's inappropriate. I'm not going to show that on stream, Hwarg. I'm not cool with that. I'm counting to 10, Hwarg. Counting to 10. Good. There we go. You didn't get to see it. You'll never know. You'll never know. You'll have to be comfortable with not knowing. You'll just have to let it go one day, you guys. You're just going to have to live and be strong. Here comes them roaches. Taking them out. Taking them out. There's the force fields going down. Very good. Uh-oh. What could be going on here? <gasps> 18 more overseers. Warg! Oh, what a bouquet of gak that we're going to be seeing from you today. That is fantastical. There come the overseers. Look at them. Look at them. So beautiful. Oh, how did you know fresh overseers my favorite? <gasps> I thought you'd never remember. Everyone always sends me flowers. I'm so glad you sent me overseers. And here comes the warp gate. There it is. Arr, take your vaccines. Always important to spell things properly when you make a battle cry. And taking that one out, flying right over him, getting him done, getting him. That's right, Warg. Gack and you and you. Pylons, you want to warp things in? You want to warp things in? Good luck. I'll gack him. I'll gack him. Yeah, that's right. Psionic Fury is in a little bit of an awkward spot because the production of the opponent is so strong. And there they finally end up degacking. Here come the Overseers. Super duper pumped. We see the Gravatic Boosters that will allow him to let all of his Warp Prisms, which is exactly zero Warp Prisms, fly faster. Very, very good. Here come the Overseers swinging around again. I'm going to do that again. It was so fun. It's like the roller coaster at the amusement park after you get off. You just get back in line again. Here comes the Roundabout Probes. Get out of here. Can't Chrono Boost. Here comes all of the extra gacking. Can't make probes. Uh-oh. Looks like the pylon's getting getting a little bit of gack up as well. Very good. Having a little bit of struggle with the production. Oh, yes. Yes. And he's going to be even gacking up the pylons. Yes. Hwarg, show it to him. Give it to him. Give it to him. In the meantime, Hwarg is losing fucking everything. He's getting mauled. Seriously, he's getting slammed. Who cares? Contaminate, contaminate. Very good. Uh-oh, uh-oh. That one void right will not be able to join the whole force that just killed all your shit. But that's fine. Get him, Hwarg. Get him, get him, get him, get him, Hwarg. Get him. Get him, and there it is. Gack him up. Yes, very good. Giving him the gack. Giving him the gack. Awesome. Perfect. There's the Stargate going down. There's the Stargate going down. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And yeah, yeah. get the other Stargate. It's important to execute your strategies well. You know what I mean? It's important not to let the ball slip. Sometimes that can be the difference between winning and losing. Speaking of losing, let's take a look at this Protoss army that's very intimidating. How many Void Rays are in there? Ooh. 11. I did have to pause to do the mental math. Oh, look, going on the roller coaster again. With 6,000 minerals, no problem. Very cool. Just gonna go ahead and be gacking everything. Yeah, good luck, Chrono Boosting. I bet, Psionic Fury. Enjoy your low damage Void Rays. What are they? Having zero upgrades? Does Protoss actually not have upgrades? Yep, there's ground attack level 1. Uh, re gacking up everything. Uh oh, oh no, the Overseers. Look out! There's so many of those Void Rays doing the damage, dealing the pain, dealing the hurt. Dealing the hurt, dealing the hurt, the hurt, the hurt, the hurt! Warg! Why'd you give up on them? Warg! <sighs> well, here he comes with Mutalisks and getting 21 more Overlords because he has 200, 200 supply. Meanwhile, we have Mutalisks from Warg moving in. Very strong transition. 
uh, after doing a lot of damage with those Overseers to have no units anywhere. The unit counting station, we see it's 58 Mutalists and nothing more. Here come the Mutalists destroying everything. You could contaminate it or you could just kill it. Everything taking some pain, taking some hurt. Very good, very good. Here come the rest of the units darting right up. There's the Spire going down. There's the Overlord going down. There's the Roshorn going down. There's the Spawning Pool going down. But you know what? Sonic Fury won't be able to mine from this here very base. Very good. Here's the little probe. Going to be a little sneaky. He's going to begin rebuilding pylons here to help him out of his 164 of 62 food deficit. There's a lot of Mutalists out there. Look at them all stacking up. But here comes the moment of truth. Here comes the moment of truth. Warg, can you hold on, Warg? I believe in you, Warg. I believe in you. But that's a lot of units. Let's slow it down. Guardian shields going down. <gasps> oh my god, the Mutalist R22, though. I can't tell what's happening. I just cannot tell. I'm just gonna close my eyes. Gonna close my eyes, you guys. <sighs> I just, I'm hoping. I'm hoping so badly. Come on, Hwar. Come on. You can do it, Hwar. You can do it. Is everything going okay? I can't look. I can't look. Oh. What a relief. Thank God for that overlay. Did everything turn out well in the end? Did everything turn out well? We'll never know. <gasps> You're not very cool! Oh, Warg! Bum, ba, da, dun, dun. Ba, da, da, ba, da, ba, 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 ba. Call heavy. Ho! Getting them bounced, bucketed, half court shot through the goalie's legs. Ho! At the buzzer. Call face, troll face. JPEG, Warg, laying it to him. Why didn't you finish me earlier? Psionic Fury, I just couldn't let go. Oh no, because. Because. Oh my gosh. I accidentally the whole overseers. <laughs> that was funny. I like that one, Warg. I thought that one was pretty good. All right, okay, cool. Okay, and finishing things up. Oh. Oh. That's so sad. I accidentally that replay on Funday Monday. Let me just get this mouse out of the way. Uh, I'm gonna wipe my tears away. With my mouse cursor. Well. I hope you realize that sometimes when you do mass contaminate, get 40 overseers, lose them all, make 20 more overlords, and get 73 mutilists, you can win. As long as you lose everything. But sometimes the other person will feel bad. But you know what? That's okay. That's okay. It's an important thing to go through in life. You know that? It's an important thing. It's a struggle. It's something everyone goes through. Feeling a little red-cheeked. Feeling that pain here. Because the adrenaline release. Trying, it's just it's chemically hard on the body to have that sort of contaminate. But you know what? Sometimes it happens and you come out stronger at the other end. Sometimes you do. So now it's time for the last story of the day. Now it's time for the last story because I know you guys tuned in on Valentine's Day not not just for the games but because it's important to feel loved. To feel like you can relate. From denial to bargaining to anger to depression to finally acceptance. We close out on this following story. It's important. Oh, people. Oh, my God. The second poll. Poll 2. How did I not forget poll 2? That's right. Uh, time to do a little bit of crowdsourcing. Time to do a little bit of crowdsourcing. Gamer, pause the chat. Gamer, pause the chat. Pause the chat. I'll even do it. Pause on. Good. Gamer, set up the following poll. If you're a single lady out there, I want you to type a 1. If you're not, type 0. Let's find out the percentage of you lovely single ladies out there. That's what we call crowdsourcing. Because at some point in the future, I'm going to be doing a day 9 daily. Squeaky chair. I'll be doing a day 9 daily about love. And I'll be going, alright, alright. So the important thing when trying to engage in romance 
is to have a mid-game plan. People think it's all about the first word out your mouth. No, 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 no. It's about having just a general look that you want to have, right? It's about the general look. I've never seen so much participation in a poll in my life. Again, one for single ladies, zero if you're just not. Because, again, I'm doing a show about you. It's the most normal thing in the world. Now, look at this guy. He started out shameful, embarrassing, had all these slip-ups. But because he, he had a mid-game plan, everything worked out great. I'll be going back between the, the replay. We'll be watching it in slow motion. We'll be coming back, you know. Because, I mean, people always have these build orders set out, you know, where they're like, eight pylon, or, you know, <laughs> you know, eight dinner, ten movie, twelve. You know, oh, whoops, she's getting a little bit... Off, so I better make up with it for some harassment, you know, so that we can come back from behind. Oh, I have my build order down. Never build a mothership, because if you build a mothership, you become permanently invisible, and then you can't build another one. Oh, thanks again, Adam, for that line. You know, they always focus on that, but it's so important that you have a good overall structure. All right, gamer, I need the results of that poll. 8.5% single ladies. Hello, beautiful. What's up? I do this TV show, Day 9 Daily. <sighs> Let me tell a little story about how sexy I am, how suave, how smooth, how undeniably sensual I can be. So I was on Craigslist. <laughs> what a great start to that story. I could actually stop right now and that would be satisfying. But anyway, so I was on Craigslist. And for the record, Craigslist is a good location to find like a 21 speed used mountain bike. It is not a, an adequate location to find someone to spend the rest of your life with. But you know what? It's where I was. It's what I was doing. I was just perusing the, uh, the, the you know, single ladies looking for a single man. That's good. Um, I learned all sorts of interesting acronyms uh, while on there. And while sort of, you know, maneuvering my way about, I'll just send an email. She looks pretty. She looks cool. Send her an email. Hey, what's up? I'm Sean. I like video games and talking and tasty, tasty food. Maybe, I don't know, if you wanted to chat sometime, that would be cool. Here's, here's a picture of me just so you know that I'm just a friendly, goofy guy. And by that, I mean I'm hot. Mm. But I would do that. You know, ah. and, she, and I'd get this message back. Hey, thank you very much for a message. Please sign up at my site, sexy hot two singles for you. CJB.ru slash XXX. And I'd be like... I feel that our values differ a little too much, so I, ugh, tragically, I progressed forward until one day, a person actually seemed genuine. She seemed genuine. Genuine? Certainly not. No way it couldn't be the case. Her name was Felicity. So I sent Felicity a message. Hey, my name's Sean. You can call me Day 9, because I'm fucking weird. You can call me Day 9 if you want. That's cool, but I like video games and talking, and I like tasty food. I was cutting and pasting at this point. You understand, right? Cutting and pasting. So I sent that away with zero expectations. I just sent it away, just sent it off into the ether, expecting no response, because you know what? It made me happy. I didn't care. I knew who I was as a person, and I loved myself. And tell me if this has ever happened to you. I want all of you who have ever been on a dating site or ever tried to use anything that involves emails, tell me this hasn't happened to you. My, my mailbox normally has like 65 unread messages, 65 unread messages, 65 unread messages. How many? 65 unread messages. I wake up one day, I look at the tab on Firefox, 66 unread messages, 66 66 unread messages. Could it be Felicity? It could indeed. I click it. <gasps> Felicity sent a response. Felicity. Hey. Hey, how's... What's, what's going on? Move this bag out. Hey, Felicity. Hey. What's up? Hey, I'm Sean. Felicity. Hey, you wanna... Wanna hang out? Felicity? Don't look in my closet. Don't do that. Look at me. Hey, Felicity. Hey, just being cool. Just chilling. Just chilling's cool. It's cool, baby. Don't worry about it. I was into it. I was feeling it. Right? I was I was feeling everything that was Felicity. She said, "Hey, dude, you sound so cool. Um, uh, you know, you're really you're really interesting. I think you know maybe we should chat sometime. Maybe we should chat. Maybe we should." For some reason, I thought I saw a person in my room. I swear to God, I'm not making this up. I thought there was a human being right there, but as it turns out, it was a towel. Anyways, so I was, she's like, "Hey, you seem pretty cool. You know, you're pretty interesting. You know, and here's here's a, here's a picture of me. Here's a picture of me." She was smoking fine. Felicity, how how could how could a beautiful girl 
of a look like that be on Craigslist. <laughs> but I didn't care. I said, oh, hey, I would love to chat sometime, Felicity. I would love to sit down and learn all the things about you. Oh, how good that would be. Felicity responded to me three minutes later at 8.38 a.m. in the morning because I was on a good sleep schedule then. I was not on my inverted watching every Korean pro StarCraft match in the middle of the night schedule. No, no, no. I was up at 8.38 a.m. to begin an email exchange with all that is Felicity. So, she she says, hey, yeah, blah, 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 cute thing, flirt, flirt, flirt. And I'm like, ho, ho, 8.40, 8.40 a.m., flirt, 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 confirmation, returning and reciprocation of affection, ho, ho. And then she says, hey, can I give you a call? And I said, well, it is 8.42 in the morning. Let's do it. Felicity calls. Felicity calls. I answer. Felicity didn't have a site like hot sexy lady singles two for you dot cjb dot ru slash xxx. She was a real girl with a pulse. Now, at this point in the story, I need to interrupt and say that something is concerning when your standards are has pulse. That that was the benchmark. Does she have a pulse? Yes. Good. We're making progress. Normally, I don't get that far. Mustache. No. Really. Two for two. Two for two. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. So this person with a pulse calls me. And I go, is this Felicity? And she says something. I'll never know. She goes, hey, it's just some, huh? What? Yeah, because, you know, Craigslist. And I was trying to call it. S speak up, Felicity. Felicity, I, I need you to talk louder, Felicity. What? Can you is can you not hear the is talking to her? No, no, they're they're uh they're 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 building an amusement park next to my next to my dorm. I can't I can't hear anything. It's just construction. Oh, huh, okay. You know, I was trying to do that. So I'm sitting there. I literally I have my hand on my ear and I'm like, all right, all right, come on, don't mess this up. This is the first girl with a pulse you've ever talked to, from Craigslist. You're having success, Sean. Don't don't fuck it up. So I'm sitting there and 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 she she just I'm trying. You know those noises you make when you're not listening to someone. When you're at like the wedding, uh, and it's like your 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 second cousin's aunt's new husband, who's who's just trying to ingratiate himself with the family, who's just dull. He comes up to you, hey, hey, guy, how are you? No, oh, yeah, hey, oh, it's good to be here, meet family. Uh, it's, you know, I. Been working on my deck. We're gonna extend it out a little bit. I mean, we have a you know a half acre of property, and you're like, I don't fucking care about any of that at all. I oh who, like oh that's one of those people where you're just, you have to just make functional noises. You have to make the functional. You go uh huh yeah mm uh mm oh mm 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 mm. That's what I'm doing, right? I'm trying to do that, and I have this universal noise. Check out this noise. Here's the best one. Here's the universal noise. Uh, ain't that the best? Sean, I just had the worst day of my life. Uh, like, oh, that's so frustrating. Oh, and then she said, don't sell that poodle. Punchline to a joke. Uh, you know, like you're trying to get along with it. How was your day, Sean? Uh, I don't need to know what question you said. I just need to go, uh, I don't care. It doesn't matter. So there she is. I'm on the phone. I try, try, just trying to do that, but you know, trying to, yeah. You, you, uh huh. You know what I love? You, know? yeah. No, I, I, I'm a college student. I'm a college student. I'm just trying to just talk with. Yeah, I do math. Math is what I do. math a math what math. And the only thing that I can really hear are subjects, right? I'm realizing that it is currently eight fifty three in the morning, and I have not heard a word that this girl has said, except subjects and direct objects of sentences, right? So yesterday, I was trying to... All right, all right, something happened yesterday. I can confirm that this happened... And, and try, try and couldn't get and my my dog, your dog. Some okay. Something happened to your dog. It may still be going on, but it certainly happened yesterday. It definitely happened yesterday. Okay, okay. Blah blah. I was trying to. Sean was trying to do that, you know, because I was trying to do that. So uh, hot sauce. It's like hot sauce. Why are we talking about hot sauce, Felicity? What what mystery is going on on the other end of this phone number? 
So, and then she says something like this. I was trying to maybe do something like that. She asked a question. The intonation went up. It went up. I'm on the spot. I can't make a noise. I can't do one of those things. What is she doing? So I just said, I just said, fuck it. We're doing this. And I said, it's not healthy to feed hot sauce to your dog. That's what I did. And she said, no, I said my pussy's really wet right now. Uh... Who calls me for phone sex at 8.55 a.m. in the morning? Who does that? I, and I was like, I, I'm, I'm not, I was, is your dog okay though? Is he alright? I've been worried about him for the last several minutes. What am I going to do? I, what, she got on Craigslist apparently looking for a 21 speed used prostitute, which I am not. I like video games and talking and tasty food. And of course, I love hot sauce on all of it. So without any further ado, I'm delighted that you guys tuned in to this week's Valentine's Day edition of Fun Day Monday. Suffice to say that that conversation did not last much longer because I couldn't stop laughing. And... Uh, <laughs> thank you for your comments. That's very good. Shorty Awards have uh, are over, and they will be selecting winners and all that sort of good stuff. Um, what else is going on? There will not be a fun day Monday next week or the week after, because I'm going to be out of town in Germany doing the Intel Extreme Masters Championship event. Yes. So that's going to be awesome. I will be in Germany for the whole time. So that is very, 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 very exciting news. Uh, so definitely tune into that. Uh, there will be all sorts of fun content being uploaded while I'm away. So even if you're not a live viewer, that's fine. Because you know what? Uh, you'll have all sorts of fun archived content, including a couple of specials. Uh, for tomorrow's Newbie Tuesday, it is again the Mechanics Newbie Tuesday. Please submit not just replays, but videos of you recording yourself playing. Submit those to Tuesday at Day9.tv. Uh, because I would love to show those so we can get an excellent sense of what's up, what's working, what ain't working, and all that sort of good jazz. And I wonder if there's anything else to say. Uh, allow me to totally throw away all my faux anger and say happy Valentine's Day for any of you who are still single. Keep in mind that it ain't just a day for you to be depressed that you're single or something like that. It's a day to go to your friends and be like, you guys are awesome. Go out, be merry, tell someone that they're awesome, give someone a gift, even if they're just a good old buddy of yours. Um, yep, make hearts, big hearts, big hearts, and of course, to all you people who have dates scheduled tonight, have a lovely date, and I hope you do something sweet to your significant other, because it is never wrong to be more nice. Never, never, never wrong to be more nice. Happy Valentine's Day, guys. Happy Valentine's Day. Take care. I heart you all. See you tomorrow, same time, same place. Au revoir.